Hello everyone. Here I would like to talk about HUL which is Hindustan Unilever Limited. It was established in the year 1933. It was merged and named as Hindustan Liver Limited in the year 1956, but it was renamed as Hindustan Unilever Limited in the year 2007. The British Dutch manufacturing company is headquartered in the in Mumbai, India, which produces fast-moving consumer goods all over the globe. The products include home care products, cleaning agents, food, beverages, and many more. The current CEO of HUL is Sanjeev Mehta. This was the basic information of HUL. So moving forward, I would like to discuss about its SWOT analysis, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So first and foremost, strength is the brand visibility. From soap to mineral water, HUL is shaping more the life of more than billion of people, being in consumer goods. market share with its 20 different categories the other significant strength is the market leader according to nielsen two out of three people uses hul products all over the globe the strength is the extensive and integrated distribution system which hul has so hul has four tier distribution system which includes direct coverage indirect coverage streamlined and project shakti ama Direct coverage includes common stockists between a town of population for five thousand people, fifty thousand people. Indirect coverage includes villages closer to the larger urban areas, and streamlining includes leveraging the rural wholesale market to reach markets inaccessible by road. Last but not the least is the Project Shakti Amma, which targeted the very small number of people in rural area. which was around the 2000 population and tapped to the women self help groups as well the other strength is the high brand awareness which includes various different celebrities which produces hul as their own product and increases the market share as well marketing if including the market share it also include product line which helps like helping the people around all over the globe so there are different products which are home care food beverages and many more forward i would like to discuss about the weakness hul suffered the very first is the decreasing market share since competition is increasing in the market the hul suffer a lot of different a lot of weakness which is like the product is getting decreased is in the quality as well as in the price level other weakness which hul suffer is the advertising cost since the advertising cost is more it's it incurred huge losses changing consumption pattern since the people are con- changing their consumption pattern day by day in the dynamic environment so it is difficult for the people of hul to cope up because they are following the old style of consumption pattern moreover the large number of brands which uh, which hul has so it is difficult to position their position what are what are their pricing policies and it it also is a weakness hul suffers last but not the least is the inability to fulfill their strategies on the right time turn to talk about the opportunities hul hul has so very first is the expanding market it does not focus only on the urban areas but as at rural areas as well through its projects like project shakti amma the very the second opportunity which hul has converted is the expanding income increasing income level due to the polit- due to the stable political scenario and increasing literacy rate the the, the income level of the people are increasing day by day in the changing environment last but not the least is the awareness of the consumer goods since people are aware about the products hul offered to each and every consumer in the market and the word of mouth helps the consumer to buy more and more products 
which is which HR has gained throughout the life of 86 years of experience. The last part of SWOT is the threat HUL suffers. The very first is the competition in the market. Since the incre there is the increasing number of local and national players, it's becoming difficult for the companies to differentiate between the HUL products and different products. So it also destroys the brand image of the product. Secondly, price of the commodity since the advertising cost is more, so the value of the raw material also increases, which becomes the threat for the HUL to sell more and more products. Last is the buyer's power, since it is difficult for the consumers to stick to a particular product, since there are number of products in the market, so they can switch on to the very simple and cheaper product. So this also leads to the threat of HUL in the coming years and in the previous years as well. well. To talk about further, I would like to talk about based on analysis of HUL which is political, economic, social, technological, environmental and legal factors. It, the pol starting with political factors, after the liberalization of Indian economy in 1991, the removal of regulatory framework allowed the company to explore single product without any constraints. Simultaneously, the deregulation permitted acquisition mergers of Tata Oil, Mills and Company on Mills Company merged with HUL on 1st April 1993. In the following year of 1995, it merged with another Tata company and Lake May Limited at joint venture of 50 plus 50% 50 share. In 1998, Lake May Limited sold off its 50% share to HUL. The other, the other political factor which I would like to discuss is about the government equity share which was 74% in 2000 from beginning from public public PSUs to PSPs and it shared whole share it acquired whole share in 2002 lastly the liberal policies helped the government to widen its product throughout the throughout the throughout the globe well to discuss further i like to talk about the economic factors it is not always being the favorable for the company possession, sometimes it's against as well. So, positive growth prospects in developing and emerging economies is the first and the foremost economy factor. The other one is the, it also affects the slow, economies can affect the slowdown of actual sales. The last but not the least is the prices of tea and oil which are reducing the profitability of the company all over the world. To move further, I would like to paint down my views on the social social aspect which gained large amount of consumer through social program. HUL focus on hygiene, nutrition, enhancement of livelihoods, reduction of greenhouse gases and water footprints. Also, it focus on rural as well as urban population of the sector. It has it has grown good prospects in tier 1 and tier 2. Moreover, it has focused on two main rural projects which were Project Shakti which was the initiative for the rural people where the population was less than 2000 so that male and female have the same standard of living throughout the rural area. Second one was the live boy Swastha Chetna which was to endeavor the people around rural area about the diarrhea, about the awareness of disease diarrhea all over the world. Well, it's turn to describe technological factors. So, HUL was stepping up its rural distribution system and launched low variant price variants for the popular brands to draw new users in rural areas. The very first was the leveraging of new IT technology in the rural as well as urban area. Secondly, SAP was implemented in 2006 across HUL. The new innovation of development, upgrading the consumer through 
innovations of innovations to new levels of performance and quality was introduced moreover now we can produce we can have 24 by 7 access to hul through online as well as offline so we can produce we can have product anytime anywhere in the in the globe in just few seconds of the time so the last topic i would like to expatiate my views is the marketing strategy of hul which is segmenting targeting and positioning first firstly i would like to discuss about the segmentation the H, the company hul has segmented in the three different ways which is demographic psychographic and geographic variables demographic means it has based its variables in the term of age gender culture religion and many more secondly it has to discuss other is the psychographic which is related to the emotions motivation attitude behavior perception of an individual how it take a product in the mind of itself and how it take a product in the mind of the company last I would like to discuss about the geographic like HUL is based their products with different different locations like it can it work online as well as offline in the whole globe so it's time to discuss about the targeting of the H of HUL so it doesn't mean like you have to target the right kind of people but it also means the right way to target the people it is not always to have the right kind of persons at a particular job but how you target a particular group of people for a particular brand or a particular product that is more important lastly i would like to discuss about the positioning after segmenting and targeting we need to position our brand in the most appropriate way here i would like to discuss about a, an example of hul which is kisan jam which was a bottle which was kuch khao dilchaspi pao it was a brand which got a word of honor and because of its unique packaging in the whole of the world i hope this video will help you to know more about hul and i am happy to express my views for the very first time on hul on the youtube i hope you like it thank you and share my views and everything thank you so much